Hey everybody, this is Bruce from Bench Dogs. You know, the other day, Pete was finishing up a job that he did on his own, and uh, he ended up with a lot of used plywood. And being the good guy that he is, he says, hey, why don't you have it for your shop? I thought that was a really nice gesture, so I'm going to use some of that and make him a Christmas present. Come and join me. on a job and these are the packing crates as you can see they aren't in fantastic shape they're not a high quality of plywood take a look at this plywood so this is the kind of plywood that you don't get at the lumber company just look at those plies there's not a parallel line in the bunch first thing we're going to do is clean all these staples out well these are my tools of choice Problem with the staples, of course, is that they're too long and you can't hammer them through. But if they're short, they become much easier. Now I try to visualize what a plywood Christmas tree would look like that's not completely hideous. Not completely. Then we cut out the blanks we're going to need. And then I rough out the shape of the branches. Well, we're just going to take this piece and use it to trace out the other three. All right, there's no joints in it yet, but you can start to see how this thing's going to look. We're going to cut two grooves in each piece. It's going to go all the way through the wood, but it's only going to go halfway through the piece. The other two cut the groove on the bottom half. Well, the first layer of our, man, this ain't a Christmas tree, holiday tree that doesn't cut down trees. Well, I guess it does cut down trees. But this is all scrap wood, you see? So let's call it good. It's good. The lowermost set are designed with a base. Okay, we've got the bottom layer and uh, the leftover from cutting the bottom layer. Well, I've made all the measurements that I'm going to need for the rest of the tiers, and I'm going to make templates for them on this piece of paper. All right, we've got our Christmas tree tier outlines all cut. All we have left to do is put the slots in. We use a spacer and stop combination instead of having to measure each cut 80 times. We even set up a depth stop. Three. Pick them up by the bottoms. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, garland! <laughs> Look at that thing! How are you liking your tree? Where's the star? <laughs> I think he likes it. I've never seen you this excited about a project. That's great. 
I'm a Jew with a Christmas tree. How happy am I? <laughs> I think it looks really cool, man. I think it's a great piece of wood sculpture, regardless of what you call it. All right, well, looking at this uh, so-called tree, angles on our branches aren't right, so we're going to retaper them. Oh, come all ye faithful. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Now to the next step. Drilling of the holes. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, put holes in it so that we can hang ornaments. About three or four holes, maybe five, uh, along the bottom here. Watch that. in between the left tree. Now we're going to have these guys act like, what are they? I don't know. Plugs in between the levels. We're going to make sure that they go at 45 to each other. Can you see that? We're going to make sure that they're centered, which we've already done with this lovely little tool. This can go anywhere. Ow! I'm just kidding. And now what you do is how do you figure out the other side? I'm going to put this against Wherever that side is, like that, and I can line up visually right here. My two. We have a few more adjustments to make before this thing is completely attached. Because these bottom ones are all in place, and while they give just a little bit, they have the kind of stability that I'm looking for in a Christmas tree, as opposed to the one on top, which just landed on me. We go to the emergency room, I think I broke my arm. First of all, let me say, I am so impressed that you are actually building a crate for this thing. It's not just a box. It's a, bo well, it's a box that, that holds something unusual. This thing. Hey, look what's in there. What the hell's in Babar. here? It's Babar. It's Babar. Oh. You can be certain we've been working too long. <laughs> oh man, and we're gonna we're gonna paint it tonight. We'll be finished by about 4 a.m. Get it under the tree. Uh, wait a second, it is the tree. <laughs> and now we paint. Went to the big box store and found discount spray paint for a dollar a can. Only needed one can to do the whole black area. There was also a screw up area with unwanted paint for a dollar a quart or five dollars a gallon. What? Haven't you ever heard of blue spruce? <coughs> Assembly time. Let's see if I put all the paint in the right places. And there it is. A beauty, ain't she? <laughs> From our family to yours, Bench Dogs wishes you a happy Christmas and a merry new year.